Karnataka they call it Koja for the eunuchs and the most immoral part of that story between Karnataka or India or Japan you will not find a single eunuch or Koja in the road standing and asking for money or for any other act in Japan, the Kojas are, or the eunuchs are given one of the most beautiful, respectable place. They run their own restaurants. Most sometimes it's only all women restaurants, all ladies restaurants or clubs, and they are very good in computers. They are the most best animation. They can do it so well. Everybody rushes up to them. And they are very rich and very behaved. That is moral. And what is immoral, what we see is here in the roads. The eunuchs have been ill treated to be left on the roads to beg for money, the way they dress up. Is this the culture that you are showing, the great tradition, like Mahatma Gandhi said? The culture of the people is known by the way they treat the animals. The culture of the people known by the way they treat the third sex. And in the same on the western countries, when boy and boy walk together hand in hand in love, they call them homosexuals. But in India, it is brotherly loving that is more, but in the western culture, that is immoral. Here we never discriminate. To ours is such a beautiful big tradition. Boys sitting together, girls sitting together. Oh, it's a love relationship which has got no dictionary language to dissect them like how the Western cultures does it. Marquis de Sade, born on 2nd June 1740 in Paris in France, died on 2nd December 1814 in France as a French nobleman revolutionary politician, philosopher and writer famous for literary depictions of a largely imagined libertine sexuality. His works include novels, short stories, plays, dialogues and political tracts in his lifetime. Some of these were published under his own name while others which said denied having written appeared anonymously. The word sadist came from Marquis de Sade. Marquis de Sade said, What is more immoral than war? Yes, it is immoral to have war, a war inside your body, the chanchana. The war inside your body came because you have not been able to meditate. And meditation is not what J.R.D. Tata or Ratan Tata said. I don't want to sit under the tree and meditate like the Hindu saints. That is not the meditation. Meditation is a way of life in India, Tata. Yes, it is not about sitting under the tree. But people are forced to sit under the tree now and rush up to ashrams because the family was broken. As long as the family was there and they practiced the Sanskriti, the culture, every day in the morning together, the family sits together, each together, each together, grows together. Then, where there is war, discussions are always beautiful. Yes, everything spills out for them. From the mouth, and they dissect it up and put it in proper order. Everybody respects each other, loves each other. There's no difference. Brother and sister, and one, the, uh, one, bro, bro, one brother is not in station, the second brother's wife will take care of the first brother. They are together, they don't dissect who will serve who. Children also are looking only for uncles, they come running, you know, which uncle came, bring some sweets. They are not only waiting for father and mother. War is not there. Here war breaks up when you are in a minor, in a nucleus family. What is more immoral than war? Is that more or not immoral? Both are war. wrong. Russia invading, trying to invade Ukraine. War. They wanted for the pressure to gain more money for, for the people to eat. Is that not robbery? What is more? Is that not immoral act? I open immoral act. And the NATO and America also joining hands to tag 
they split you into two pieces. Like the hyena and the leopard. Leopard catches the the prey and hyena starts eating from behind. Prey is still not dead. Immoral act. War. Or we have to find out what is war, especially for the school children. War. Because what the teachers have taught, if you have practiced a thousand times, like how the religious leaders take the Rudraksha Mana and keep repeating the mantra 10,000 times, 100,000 times, they keep on repeating. So it gets imprinted every cell of the brain, and the time comes only, God's name comes out. The focus is so much. Children, when they repeat a thousand times, what has been taught? Like the Rudraksha Mala, the next one will be very easy. Even if they don't practice a thousand times, it strikes with your thinking. There is no war. The war is because when you see a question, you start shivering. The fear creates chanchala. The chanchala is psychological problem. Psychological problems is a disease. Disease is what doctors are looking for, and the hospitals are open. Pharmaceutical companies make money. Pharmacists are rich people uh, walking around in BMW, Mercedes Benz car, by selling poison to the people. That is not important. When you take your person to the hospital, in the olden days, yes, when the husband says, Hachi, the wife asked the granny in the house, and granny said, Don't worry, Hachi Pochi, I know. She'll make a shunti kundi punti and put it in his mouth and give one bar hit on the bow. He'll run to the office. But now in the nucleus family, there is more when it's a hachi. It is like a gun, bullet firing while a wife gets pregnant. She takes him to the hospital and the hospital says, I will see you. I will see all your money. Intensive care unit, they'll take all the money. War! Declared war! You have allowed the war to happen. Try to be together. We can avoid war. Family visits together. We'll always know that when you, the moment you give the gap between the father and mother and the wife with the husband and the children, when you forget to hug and kiss your own people, when you do that, you can see the foundation becoming so strong in the family. Family is so loving. You will never think that uh, the companies are misusing you. You have found out your talent. You may run your own company. You may take your own family as such a beautiful, organic things happening in the house. There hardly will be any disease when you're together. Which disease can come in between? From there, you build up the joint family to strengthen the family tree. As long as you do not have that, there is a war. War is not alone in Ukraine. War is running your heart. And somebody went and asked Mother Teresa, What can I do to create peace? And Mother Teresa said, First, go back to your house and love your family. That is the first peace. You all houses are the peace where there is war, when you are not together. A third person comes in between. War is destruction, war is painful. It kills, it breaks you into pieces. There is no mind and body. It is utter confusion. Just where no God and devil will ever be able to help you because they are in a disbelief because you together do not get up morning to do your prayer facing the east to do your surya namaskar. Do that. No war. Only Om Shanti Shanti Shanti